And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, try some more 68 to 76. Now, I do think there could be a few a bits of sun during the morning hours and there could be a sprinkle or a couple isolated light showers early in the morning. But then pretty much noon onward, we are fair game for some scattered showers to come in. Um, and with those scattered showers, there's going to be a window where it's pretty windy outside. We're going to have gusts 28 to 36 miles an hour out of the south southwest. But once we get towards like 435, 6, the winds just drop pretty dramatically. So a lot of wind in here, but once five, six on kind of that time frame, the wind goes down to about six miles an hour. And you'll notice the temperature falls some because we're going to be raining through some residual dry air. So yeah, we may hit 72 closer to midday, but as some of these showers make it down through the dryer down to the ground, we call that evaporative cooling or wet balding. So even though the south southwest winds pushing warmth in, the cooling effects of some of these showers will drop temperatures down into the 60s, 65 at 3 and 64 at 5. And there you see the highs upper 60s south, mid 70s north. Why warmer in the north? Because it'll be the south and southwest that gets the showers first. Now on Wednesday, after a wave of some showers and thunder showers Wednesday night, a couple of isolated showers in the morning, but then some periods of showers and storms midday right through afternoon and into the evening. We'll probably have two or three little lines uh, that come through and it'll be a windy day. Pretty strong winds from the south southwest and a high of 72 after only 59 in the morning with 68 to 75 doing an area wide 69 at Rensselaer and Remington to 73 at Frankfurt and 72 at floor. And we've got a marginal risk of severe weather on Wednesday in the PM pretty much from Rochester to Monticello back to near Fowler and southward for an isolated, mainly isolated severe wind gust or two as two or three of these little lines of showers and storms come through. And you can see that on future cast again. Here we are at 830 in the morning, but watch some of the showers coming in from the southwest right there. They are some scattered showers around at three. They move northward. We'll get a few more tomorrow night. And then we look to Wednesday, multiple little lines coming through. There's one and then we get the main one kind of coming through during the evening. Maybe one here as well. They pass through and after a couple lingering showers Thursday night, then we tend to clear off and cool down on Thursday. And it still looks like I, I think a half to one inch of rain is going to be pretty common over the viewing area. We're going to have a lot of six tenths, five, a half an inch, seven tenths of an inch type of mounts from all this. And of course, meteorologist David Seipel will be in the house. He's going to have a brand new update tomorrow morning. He's going to be in here within a matter of hours as I pass the baton on 57 on Friday, cooler 35 Friday morning and then a little warmer and windy Saturday with a few showers Saturday night and then cooler still on Monday.